Hey guys, so today I have the barricade and it is modded, um, at least what I wanted to do to it right now. Um, really the only thing I did was replace the three AA batteries with a 9 volt battery and um, it's definitely increasing the power and um, also it's starting up quicker. Um, I'll do that in a second. Um, I just had the scope and stock on here because I think it looks cool. This is the painted long shot scope in the Raider stock. Other than the battery, I really haven't done anything to this. Um, I did take off the um, lock so that I can rotate the barrel without the gun being on. Did not take out the um, jam door lock. Really don't care about it because I never want to keep it on and open up the jam door. But yeah, and I will actually not be taking this front barrel thing off. Even though it decreases range, it is really awesome. It looks awesome, especially with the stock and the scope. And um, as I said before, I am planning to do something with this gun. It is part of a project, and um, I will release that project, the plans for that project, when my original ball valve air gun video, which I will put a link of in the description box, hits um, 300 views and um, that's just sort of celebrated. But anyway, enough of me talking. Um, actually, not yet. As you can see, this jam door is bulging just a little because of the nine volt. Didn't exactly fit in there height-wise. Otherwise, it's good. Because um, I'll be locating that somewhere else for my project. And um, enough of me talking, here we go. I will first put a video of me firing it stock um, up right now. Alright, so this is the stock barricade. Flip the switch. Alright, now here's the modded barricade speed and firepower. As you can see, the motor is a little bit louder, it's faster, starts up quicker, and shoots harder. And it's actually got quicker fire speed, but um, as you probably did notice, it did slow down the flywheels as I did like one after another. So um, I'm just gonna load up like five of them here. And the good thing about taking out the um, lock for the trigger, so you don't, cause it used to, you had to turn it on to rotate the thing. By taking that lock out, I can now go like this and just rotate it so that's pretty cool um, I'm not sure if this first one's a blank oh. so now I'm just gonna do one at a time not one after the other so it'll probably fire harder and ranges of this are pretty good um, stock it was hitting about 30 feet now it's hitting about 50 feet and that's just from changing the 9 volt battery. I actually did look into a mod where you completely take the switch out and um, you hook up the pressure sensor right under the trigger so that if you pull the trigger back a little it'll start up and then you shoot it. Whoops. Got to close the jam, jam door. Because if you open the jam door and then do that it'll lock up. But um, I actually did look into that mod but um, for what I'm going to do with it, it would be pretty hard to keep it that way, so I just left it. Plus, I'm not planning to be silent with it. Um, I'll be using this when the people around me already know where I am. And this is just for every once in a while I have an Earth War. Like maybe once a, every two months or something like that. This is just for this, and this is only half of my project. Once again, I will put a link in the video description box for um, my original ball valve air gun thing. And um, if that hits 300 views, I will release a video um, of me talking about my project. So, see you guys.